Continuing on with our discussion of the navigation general exam, question number 13, a hygrometer is a device used for determining what? Well, in Bowditch, we can see that it is a device used for measuring relative humidity. One of the types of these is a psychrometer, um, but looking in the, de the definitions in the back of Bowditch in the glossary, we can see that relative humidity is the correct answer for this one. For number 14, uh, a relative bearing is always measured from where? Well, the answer is the vessel's head, not the beam. Um, and just to kind of illustrate that, if the uh, vessel is kind of shaped like that, the vessel's head is up here, the vessel's beam is over here, um, and the vessel's stern is over here. Relative bearings are always measured in this direction from the ship's bow or the ship's head. So something over here might be uh, located at a relative bearing of 0, 4, 5. Here would be a relative bearing of 0, 9, 0. Here would be a relative bearing of 2, 7, 0. So relative bearings are always measured from the head. Uh, a good joke that you can pull on uh, new sailors is to have them try and go find you uh, a bucket of relative bearing grease doesn't exist. It's just kind of a prank. I guess that would be considered hazing, but something you could do, relative bearing grease. So the vessel's head is the answer here. Moving on to question number 15, a vessel sighting a northern right whale dead ahead should do what? Well, first of all, read the question. The first time I read it, I was confused. I thought it was a dead right whale, but a northern right whale dead ahead. And just like back to the example of um, relative bearings, if the whale is dead ahead of you, it would be ahead, um, you clearly need to avoid it. And that's the correct answer in this case, is to alter course to give a wide clearance. But looking at the other two answers, you can see maintain course and speed would be wrong because you would hit the whale in that case. Or reporting the whale's position to the Canadian Coast Guard seems like a valid answer, but this is an American license. Um, so I would suspect that reporting it to the U.S. Coast Guard would be a better answer. Uh, either way, it's not required to report right whale sightings. You can on the internet, but in this case we want to avoid the uh, vessel, avoid the whale by giving a uh, wide clearance. Question number 16, a white buoy with a blue band is what? And looking at the options, you can see it's not really any of our classic buoys, red or greens, that we would see. So a hydrographic data collection buoy um, seems like a reasonable answer, but these are generally yellow buoys. Um, an isolated danger mark, that is a buoy that's located in the um, kind of the USAID's navigation system, and it is um, marking a, a specific danger. Um, a buoy with a, blight ba with a blue band is a mooring buoy. That um, is the correct answer, and this is a buoy that you can tie your ship up to overnight. So for recreational buoys might be round with blue stripes. Um, sometimes there's U.S. Coast Guard mooring buoys out there. And then finally, marking a restricted area. Generally, these buoys don't mark a restricted area. Restricted area buoys are white with orange letters, among others. Uh, so that might be um, conceivably the answer, but the right answer is a mooring buoy. So take a look at these photos and you'll kind of see which ones I'm uh, talking about there.